and they continued how they continued steadfastly consistently non-stop in the apostles doctrines one number two fellowship three breaking of bread and four prayers so the bible just told us what the early church were doing did you see that the early church we've seen their manual this was their practice and i told you that the ideal church that we host strange dimensions of the glory and the outpouring of god's spirit is this kind of church and we are laboring and trusting the lord to give us understanding as regards what their practices and their culture were that they were able to enjoy god there was every supernatural move in third service i'll be showing you the testimonies of this church i was trying to explain to you on friday night but time was raising and there's no way we could capture the full scope of the whole excess of the simon hallelujah so this is what an i do church should look like what should they be doing in a church number one they should continue in the apostolic doctrines what are apostolic doctrines apostolic doctrines are doctrines that are foundational principles of the church they are principles that jesus himself taught the apostles and the apostle is coming to teach the people are we together instead of the things we've heard we touch that we have experienced same same thing are we built are we delivering into your hands so the apostolic doctrine talks about the very teachings that jesus came to expound during his earthly ministry on earth which is the exact will of the father which is the exact purpose and the internal counsel of god are we together now lift up your right hand and say jesus thank you for this light so what were they doing in the early church what were they doing in the early, what were they doing in the church they were learning doctrines they were learning what sir what kind of doctrines the apostolic doctrines in hebrews chapter 6 the bible told us the kind of doctrines we should learn first however they are preliminary in their nature therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ what are the doctrine of christ can you see therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ let us go on to perfection can you see now that the covenant highway for attaining perfection in your work with christ is first to learn the principle of christ you can't jump it we live in a generation where emphasis why the early church produced perfect christian you know if you live where you die where Balaam was saying, I want to die a righteous death. How will you die a righteous death when you don't know the will of the Father? I mean, you don't know the basic doctrine of Jesus and you want to die a righteous death. And that's the pain that in the church today, we need such revival. Revival of the doctrine of Christ, which is the apostolic doctrine. And therefore, let us live. What? Therefore, live in the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Let us go on to perfection. So, what are the doctrine of Christ? You see, say not lay the gate the foundation of us. That is the first doctrine of Christ. Is the doctrine of us repentance, repentance unto God. That's the first doctrine. There are churches where they don't talk about these things again. Not that they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> So if you don't go through process how will you take people through process i mean you just emerge you happen as a man of god nobody mentored you that's why they was asking moses who make you who father you who school did you go through did you learn under apollos or gamelli or paul who make you apostle but paul was not around when moses came i'm citing instance do you understand they were asking Paul, who make and they were asking what's that? Moses. So you can't be an that's why it says when people just come to church, 
you just give them you don't allow people to teach god's word who does not know god's word they will just come and say what is in their mouth for that moment and cause another 50 years damage towards what god wants to achieve in the garden of god's people and you you think that you are growing your church like that it's not that bula can preach it's bula preaching doctrine do you understand uh, it's not that uh, this guy has auditory progress and this guy has good command of english is fluent no that's not what we are looking for the question is can he communicate the doctrine of christ forget that you can shout on the altar it's not the shouting we need we need the experiential dealings about this subject of discussion it's not just to stand here to preach do you know doctrine you that you are still fighting certain principle of god's word and you are preaching I mean you are against god's kingdom and you are preaching for the kingdom you don't believe in the laying of hand. can you see bulana you don't believe in praying in the holy ghost and you are coming here to preach so he said not laying again the foundation of the repentance from dead works reinforce the false doctrine doctrine of us number two doctrine of us faith push please doctrine of baptism there are churches where you don't talk about baptism again doctrine of laying of hand to communicate virtues to transmit graces and anointing hallelujah and then let's talk about because there is no christianity without resurrection in fact there is no outpouring of the if you don't understand resurrection you don't have any you don't have knowledge about the holy spirit and yet me sir you can't preach the holy spirit more than the bible <laughs> i've seen preachers who are preaching about the holy spirit that know it's in scripture so now you now know the content i mean you know the content and the scope more than the one who is giving the holy spirit are we together now you forget it you don't have knowledge about the person of the holy spirit if you don't understand resurrection because the proof of resurrection is the point of the holy ghost and the proof that jesus is in heaven is the point of it so anywhere you see the move of the spirit is just a statement that jesus is with me the bible says, wherefore jesus has been exhausted and is seated at the right hand of the father wherefore he shed abroad the holy ghost that's the proof lift up your right hand and say lord help me can you see what were they learning in the early church what kind of things were they learning in the early church opposed to one they were learning the doctrine of repentance what kind of things were they learning in the early church number two they were learning the principle of faith they were learning listening to things that keep faith in them read that things that were boosting and motivating and exposing them to the reality and this one is not there is difference between faith in god and faith in faith faith in god is what produces substance faith in faith is what you don't see results but you still have faith you don't know i mean you're trusting god for this and you didn't get it so you just keep the faith going that, that's a very bad kind of faith it's called faith in what's up in the early church they didn't add faith in faith they had faith in god they touch god they experience god they were not talker christian they were not what, sir? No, 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 no. They were not. They were not Christians sharing story about Jesus. They were witnessing Christ. Go and check their portfolio. You will see the Bible refined to them as witness. There's a difference between a witness and a child of God. Hmm? It's a level of intimacy with God. It's a display that shows their score of how much they stay with the person of christ are we blessed so the bible says therefore living the doctrine of us huh? please push let me just show you resurrection doctrine of resurrection the doctrine of eternal judgment that gospel they call condemnation is part of the principle of god when we tell you you are going to hell you say we are judging you it's part of the principle of christ that every unrighteousness is the sin before the Lord, and everyone that sin, every soul that sinneth shall die, and every soul that dieth in sin shall rot in hell. And we are telling you this. You say, No, Pastor, you are being judgmental. No, it's the doctrine. 
So any gospel you hear that there's no they didn't finish it with judgment is not a gospel. All those gospel of success, did you see it? You know? eh? Did you see the gospel of prosperity? That's why you are coming to church. If God does not give you those things, you will begin to pick offense with God. You have not met Christ. If you stop coming to church because you didn't get material things, go and see an abalis. Abalis will give you. <laughs> Praise God. We are not here because of what we want for him. We are here because we want him. When we have him, we have all things. Is God speaking to you? So the Bible says of the church in of baptism and laying of hand. If you have not bap- been baptized here by a man, so just come and see us after service. You see the way we baptize here. Hallelujah. Resurrection of death, work and eternal life. And this we do. And this we do. If God was her. Now you can go back in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. The Bible says they continued, Bula. On Monday, what were they doing, sir? The doctrine of Jesus. On Tuesday, doctrine of Jesus. Wednesday, doctrine of Jesus. Thursday, doctrine of Jesus. Friday, this we do if God permit. The meaning of that permission is not that God said they should be preaching it to no, know. It's that Jesus Christ will not return. So long Jesus has not returned, this will be our flu. So long Jesus has not returned, this will be our message. We don't preach any other gospel more than all this. All this rubbish we are having on the altar today. The doctrine of Christ. So the Bible says, and they continue step now. We understand the apostolic doctrines. I've shown you now. Huh? You, do you know anyone? Huh? Which one do you know, sir? No, I, I thought we would see the one that God will multiply money. That if you drop 1,000 on the altar, God will give you 10,000. You didn't see it there. You didn't see the one that if you give God something by this week, God will release blessing. It is not what you give to God that brings the blessing. It is your obedience to God. So, why people think their money brought money, their money brought blessing, is because they obeyed. It is not the money, it is the obedience. I want to get an answer. Oh, God spoke to a man of God and said, um, Apostle, please, we are going for crusade. Go to crusade in this week. Shana said, God has said we should go for a crusade. But we'll be needing fuel. How many of you can give God money? Uh, how many of you can support us with money to buy fuel? And then you bring money. Because you've partnered with God's agenda. God will release blessing. It is not the money that brought the blessing. But what's that? The act of obedience. So they are, and there are pastors that is emphasizing money rather than obedience. So you understand what I said? And the early church, their practices was one, the apostolic doctrine. Two, fellowship. Someone say fellowship. I can't hear you, sir. Someone say fellowship. What's the meaning of fellowship? Fellow in the same ship. Fellow what, sir? I mean, people going to the same direction. All of us, we are going to heaven. So that's why we are together. You can't claim to love God and not be in fellowship. Because you can't prove love when you are not in the midst of people. Where do you direct your love towards? I've seen Christians who don't come to church say nobody care about me. Dude, did you care about yourself? Eh? If you care about yourself, you'll be bringing yourself to church. Eh? The first sign that you don't care about yourself is that you're not coming to church. A man that cares about himself will maintain solid spiritual commitment. What does it? Say, say, nobody cares for me. They are not coming to check on you. Nobody cares for you. You, do you care about your sir? Hallelujah. Because if you care about yourself, you will not think that thing. Light has come. So, what are the practices in the early church? Tell me, Bula. Bula, what are they doing in the early church? I can't hear you now. They are teaching what, sir? Number two, what are they doing, sir? Fellowship. Bond of love bond of love they don't say less service they don't condition the apostles uh, i cannot come to this service don't come again the apostle does not have time how long will you continue to mourn for so how long will you continue to pass a trust that you can buy new one the reason why people are not joining the choir because they think the choir is full they think they was a i don't really understand what i'm saying by the time they leave now and they go to serve who they want to serve the real people will come 
I told you last week, the reason why some people don't want to serve God is because the level of indiscipline they are seeing require. See your choir member now, he's coming to Riaza, a man is talking to her, and he's coming to Riaza. God first or devil first? This one, this one, they don't, they are not saved. Who? Better be praying. Oh, what kind of pastor are you that you are opening your pastor, your choir system? The one called by God. Do you want to Don't miss God, though, because what I'm telling you is serious. Hallelujah. He's talking to a man. Because then you tell him what is baby food now. The next time you preach this one, sir, baby food. I think SMA is 20,000. SMA is what, sir? I'm shaking your head. Shake go. Praise God. Tori, official Danro, oh, the Danro. Rocky, on va dire, on va être dans le monde, les deux qui nous. On va être dans le monde. Abou les deux. Praise God. Oh no, Miss Fire, to be. We are going on a, on a straight trajectory. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and they continue. Will I say what did they do, sir? Tell them to say they continue. Hey, Pastor, I don't like the kind of sermon you are preaching. It's too harsh. That's why people are not coming to church. No, they continue. They what, sir? What your sermon is to do is to help you bring the people that God has sent you to. It is not to attract people that God didn't send you. Once you change your message, the people that God didn't send you will come. And then you will not get God's reward. Don't change! Keep preaching like this. Have I stopped preaching like this since when you met me? Eh? He was with me. You are taking your year. You know me? That man was with me in 2013. 2013. They've not given birth to some of you. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> uh, 2013. Preaching like this. Preaching was like this. No compromise. She, steadfastly, the apostolic doctrine and then fellowship and breaking of us. What kind of bread are bread? Apostle. Both communion and what's that? Physical bread. But you don't have shirt. I think I have five in the house. Come and take one. And after you give him shirt, you not come to the public. I say, sir, the shirt fits you. And when I'm wearing it, it does not fit me like this. So. Off the shirt for him. Take. He say, take your shirt. Take what, sir? How can you give somebody something you are, you are ridiculing the person? There was a. And some of you who have mouth diarrhea. You know mouth diarrhea? What you call purging in toilets. Some people have such tendency. Now, now, apostle, give me this shirt. I the like of apostle body, pass your body. They, they want to insult you. You too, you look for a good response. Bible says, answer a fool in a fool in a foolish way, so that a fool will know that what's is full, and then he will learn wisdom. Apostle, see the scripture. Go and read Proverbs 15. Bless, I will teach you how to respond to those kind of things because of time. I don't want to waste it. Praise God. Like that's God. Sir, if there is any church I ever desire to be in my life, this is the kind of church. I wish I can be in this kind of church. Sir, you know the good thing? You see, when we have this kind of church, some people will still hate it. Some people do what, sir? Some people are looking for this kind and some people hate this kind. Why? Because it's exposing their sin. Because it's exposing their bad tendency. They are fond Christian, Sunday Christian. They only iron their religious garment on Saturday night. 11.59. 11 was They are fond Christian. Religious Christian. Sunday Christian. Casual Christian. Who want to serve God and still have man friend? Who want to be in all three and still be sleeping and not like dog? So you see, this gospel is to ask. This is the gospel that some people are looking for. So people are saying, what is happening in our church? We are not even hearing the word of God. We are not hearing what's that? And some people are here and say, what kind of useless church is this? We cannot just leave. One man's food. One man's food. God is putting fire in your spirit. The one is angry. From this church, we can see 12 character. I'm sharing 12 characters 
of the early church. Why are we studying these things? Because that's how this church should be. The church that Jesus is coming from is a church without spots and wrinkles. Is this kind of church that Jesus is coming from? Twelve for some. Number one from Acts chapter two. Everything is in Acts chapter two. Hallelujah. In that church, Williams. Give me thirteen first. Two thirteen. Don't worry. Before I will show you, let me just show you the one that you need first. In this kind of church, Acts chapter two verses thirteen, and um, put twelve quickly. In this church, these are the kind of members you have. In this kind of the heavenly church, you have this kind of members. These are the categories of members. Hmm? Members that will be what we call those ones amazing members. What are going to say? Wow. What is happening here? God is good, but they are not civil. God is what, sir? There's power in our church. There's Holy Ghost in our church. There's anointing in our church. They are not safe. Who just come and say, wow, 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 wow. You can call them amazing Christian or siren Christian. What do I call them? Wait, what do you do? Wow, 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 wow. Praise God. That's where Ulumi is. Ulumi is the head of that band. Because he was telling me some things yesterday. I know that. Is it what, sir? Is a Sarin Christian? Is it was a wow? Say, sir, I've never seen this kind of thing before. Sir, do sir, do sir, what, sir? That's Sarin Christian. Now, outside that, now we now have the doubters. Those ones are the doubting Christian. This was a oh, let me give you somebody say, stop coming to our church. You know why? Do you know why you come to our church? He's saying our church every time you come, it's only the same pool that used to fall. He says, So people are arranging your falling. You arrange your what, sir? And your, your testimony is arranged. Do you understand? Know, but she came to prayer arrange yesterday. When she saw us, what did she say? That man that saw us in the car, what did she say? He said, I enjoy, he said, I enjoy the impartation. <laughs> so I said, Wow, are you sure? He said, Ah. In fact, Pastor, <laughs> no, that's this where they are doubters. There was a because the amazing people. What's your group, sir? Siren. Those people say, "What minute this? What is going? Look at what we say, What minute this? What minute this? What? What? Doubters. What? What?" But there is a last one. Next one, sir. Next one, please. Those ones are referred to as the mocker. Is it a good church? Is it a good, sir? Then you two ask him. You two, you see, they go. I told you, learn to answer a foolish man. In a what, sir? In a foolish way. So that we learn wisdom. Then that's where we know that he's saying rubbish. He won't know he's saying rubbish until we begin to respond like that. You see they go that church. You see they go that. Eh? You see they go that. All men are wicked. Is your father wicked? Is your father what's up? No, but your father is a man. Is not a man? Answer a foolish person in the foolish way, and they will. He didn't know that his father is a man. Is that day you remind him? Then you will not hear some men. Some what's up? Good. Praise God. Others we mock and say these men are drunk. These are the categories. The first one. I can't hear you now. I'm showing you the membership of the early church. In the early church, they have us a siren. Wow, wow. They also have us a doubters. And then we have us a. They'll be in the church, they'll be mocking it. Somebody once said, they be the same person as you do. You seen the sick? <laughs> That's those are mockers. Downplay the almightiness of God. What's my concern? Can I heal anybody? You can heal anybody. Huh? The day you stay, you start healing people. That is the day you stop healing people. 
Jesus is the healer. Who is the healer? She thought she's mocking me. <laughs> Glory to God. Are we blessed? Any insult you are insulting this story, you think it's if you are insulting me. You are just using me as a cover up. You are a devil. You are, the target is Jesus, not me. The target is Jesus. You think it's me? Someone said our church is not good, but when he was there, he couldn't wear chain. Those dog chains. You know those dog chains? And he couldn't live an immoral life. But he was there, and the church was not good. Now that he has left the church to a good place, if you see his neck, man. what is he wearing now? German Shepherd dog chain. <laughs> With excess every duty of immorality. And I just he's, he's in a good place now. Isn't it what, sir? Isn't it good? Oh, let me be looking for a good place. In three months, he has three wives. How many wives? May God give understanding. Bula is not only a good place I'm looking for. May God give you understanding. Anyone you score goal like that, you must come late. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> may God give you understanding. I, I said, may God give us that. Where are we, Williams? So I have shown you in this acquire that we have been. The mockers, if you get to their house, they will be using mocha food. Mocha was up. They don't pray in their family, but they can gossip in midnight. Sir? Matt. They will gossip, gossip, gossip. They will enjoy gossip and they can use speed to pray and advance their life. They are mockers. They were in the early church. I'm coming there. We will we'll see in second service. Let me show you. What are the main characters of this early church? Number one. In two. The Bible says they devoted themselves to apostle teachings. Fellowship. Breaking of bread. And prayers. Apostle, how do I know I'm a child of God? When you start doing these things. How do I know I'm in the right church? When they start doing these things. You are not in the right church if you don't preach these things. Are we together? That is called church does not mean the church. The word church is not building the spiritual. Eh? It's what's up. Let's quickly do this. Where is a church? A church is a place where the word of God is proclaimed, explained, and applied. Eh? It's a gathering where God's word is what's up. Proclaimed, explained, and look at this. Number one character of the early church that is expected in every church bula. Number one is the church was devoted to scriptures. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. Give me the scriptures please. The Bible says they devoted themselves. Leave that scriptures there. And they continue steadfastly in the apostolic doctrine. The apostolic doctrines are the word of God. So, the first character of the early church is that the early church was devoted to us. Scriptures. The final authority of the church was the word of God. Whatever the word says, that's what they will do. Whatever the word commands is what they will do. They don't live their life against the scriptures. If the Bible is saying this, that is what the pastor will be saying and that's what the member will be doing and that is how the community will be transformed you might say the church is parasite what is the church suddenly they're taking money but i tell you the level of transformed people that the church is producing into the society today hmm. can you give can you pay for such transformational eh? transformational dealings that god is using the church to produce in the community and where they are transformed people there will be less policing is that correct there will be high crime rates where there is less church. Apostle boy in Nigeria decreed, yes. Because we have plenty churches and few church. <laughs> we have what's up? Apostle, what do you mean? We have few church that is doing this thing. It is only those that preach this kind and have the character of the early church that can produce a transformed Christian. That's why there are churches everywhere and they are not transformed people. Even the pastor is not transformed. Only a transformed man can transform people. 
the first character of the early church was Abula. Their teaching was the apostolic teaching. Just as Jesus have instructed the apostle, the apostle also passed the same instruction to this new what's a new believers church, and they continue like that. What was it they were learning, Bula? What was it they were learning? They were learning resurrection. They were learning baptism. They were learning what's a they were learning faith and to the God, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The content of the church was centered on the word of God. They learned and experienced spiritual truth. The church is a place where the word of God is proclaimed, explained, and applied. Sadly to say, we don't have such gathering again. That man you think that is not on fire, but he's teaching you Bible. It's better than that one that you call your spiritual father that is on fire that is sleeping with you. We think it is when people fall that a man of God is powerful. Show me the miracle that John the Baptist did. John the Baptist didn't open one blind eyes. He didn't open one deaf ears. He didn't heal the sick. John the Baptist didn't do anything miraculous. And the Bible said he was the most powerful among all prophets. Why? Because he was the one that revealed Jesus. A man that can all the prophets came to speak about Jesus, none of them could show Jesus. It was John that says in John 1 29, he said, Now behold the lamp. This is he which everybody has been talking about. Look at him. A man that can reveal Jesus to you via scriptures is a very anointed man. It's a very what's because the things of the spirit is, is what's that is vain. The you hear what Paul was saying in first Peter 2, verse 11. He said, we know not the things of us are of the Spirit. Because the things of the Spirit is revealed by the Spirit. Hear the deep things of God. We can only have access to the things of the Spirit. When we have capacity to interpret the things of God. That's why the Bible was saying in the book of John. He says, what man have? He says, what is it? He said, no man can receive of the Lord. Except it that the Lord gives to him. So no man can assess the deep things of God except the Lord give him capacity to, re to, to receive those things. To receive those things. Light is coming to your spirit this morning. What's the first character of the early church? Number two. So Sena is not a child of God. She does not read the Bible. I know some of you that are quite close to me that you don't have scriptural knowledge. You are not yet saved. Apostle, what are you saying? Can you be saved? You are not reading Bible. I mean, a child of God, you don't know scriptures. You are Sunday school teacher, you don't know Bible. But are you not being judgmental, sir? You are supposed to sit with the scriptures, and the scripture will sit with you. The scripture will enter you. You enter the scriptures, then the new you will come out. Until you put your whole self inside the Bible, a new you cannot come out from the Bible. The word of God to some of us. Is our crucifixion experiences. There are certain things you are doing that you don't know is wrong. It's the day you see it by yourself in the Bible and say, My God, I never knew this thing is wrong. And then you repent. That's the why a child of God must go to the word of God. And you don't read Bible. It's, it's Bible chemistry textbook. So I say, I've read it once, I can't read it again. You can read Bible like you can read one chapter 53 times a day. The word is fresh. You keep seeing new light. You keep seeing new understanding. And that's how God expects us as children of God to live our life. <coughs> that's why we provided devotional for you. Apostle, I don't know when I'm reading Bible, I don't understand. Read your devotional. Number two, because of time. The church. Give me that scripture. Don't leave that place, please. Acts chapter 2, verses 42. I know some of you are not hearing me. It's normal. Praise God. But there's one person here. Who is opening his ear to hear what the Lord is saying to the church? Number two, they were first devoted to what, sir? Number two, they are devoted. The church was devoted to fellowship. You see it there? The church, what, sir? The second activity of the church is fellowship. You can't be in regular fellowship and be committing regular sin. I mean, regular fellowship. On personal level, you alone and the Holy Spirit to wake up in the morning and say, Lord, thank you. I give you praise. You are my God. What will you have me do today? Give me grace not to live in sin. 
give me grace not to come in contact with wrong people that will lead me to wrong places and make me do wrong things please show me your mercy and the lord said okay i will help you today you can't be in such regular fellowship and then you'll be doing wrong thing on corporate level you can't be in corporate fellowship and you'll be backsliding will not know how can you be down in fire i know the way when i i call bula one day i say bula they are looking for you in the spirit and what did i tell you i said you are not consistent again in fellowship what was the saving grace of the, was it wrong it was accurate that was his experience what was the saving grace of bula was because bula is in corporate fellowship and somebody could pick the signal and call Bula to other. And Bula said, Yes, I understand. I was distracted. The cures and the weight of life was heavy on me. So I was distracted. Now check him now. The fire stems too. You saw the way he was dispensing God's word on Friday night. That's what happened on corporate level. When you are on regular fellowship, sir. There is nothing wrong with your church. Everything is wrong with you. Uh, my church is not on fire. You are you on fire. It is what you carry into the church that you experience. If you carry fire into a cold church, in the midst of where people say there's no God, you'll be enjoying God. But when you carry coldness into where there is fire, in the midst, you say, I didn't even feel God. Everybody just shouting, Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you. It's only me, didn't shout, yeah, yes, because there is no such experience with God. You don't even know how to respond to the presence of the Lord. God is helping Joshua. Where's Joshua? Went to buy a drumstick. Are we blessed? The second activities of the early church, they were devoted. And the Greek word is koilonia. Association, communion, fellowship, close relationship. They were with other believers. Always sharing fellowship. And where would the church be going, sir? They say, come to Monday service. What do you come to do Monday service service? Iron sharp network, sir. How can you, a, a footballer that does not train, will he be in form? To keep form, you must keep training. And military will say, train more and bleed less. When you train more in military, in battlefront, you bleed less. But don't train and enter battlefield. So somebody's not coming to Monday to pray with us. He's not coming on Thursday. So he comes as executive Christian on Sunday and say, Give me my rope. I want to sing with choir. Which choir? Which choir? No, he's no more. Everybody must sharp their spiritual hours and prowess and be on fire. Keep their spirit man alive. And then when you stand to minister, one day be amazed that a cripple will stand up from which chair. That's the signs that follow believers who are serious with God. That's what's up unseriousness will be curtailed at all levels until Jesus is glorified. Suppose you lose members. No, you don't lose members. You don't lose yourself. When members come, you don't go anywhere. You are you not a member. Blessed are you not a member. You, a member. You, you can't lose blessing. Are you not a member? <laughs> Praise God. May God help you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number three, what were you doing? They were with other believers. They had people in their lives who knew jesus and knew they were and knew where they were in their spiritual life it is hard to love god and love people when you are not around people you have to be around people number three where are we please number three they were devoted to breaking of bread the rosa the lord supper was regular experiences for them they were eating both physical bread and spiritual bread and in that way they were remembering the sacrifice and they kept focus on what jesus did for them on the cross what the communion does to us is to put us in remembrance of everything that jesus ever did you know i told you i say praise the lord everything that god do god always wants to establish a memorial so that people that come after us always was see and remember that the lord is also it's good you know, I was talking to Joshua. To, whose day was that, Joshua? Was it yesterday? So I said, Joshua, I said, Do you know that in that church you are now, there used to be heavy revival there? He said, So I heard. And I said, Do you also know that in that church where you were in the school, we used to do regular crusade? And Yahweh told me. He said, I saw your altar. I saw your altar. 
I saw the altar you used to use in your crusade, very big like this. I said, oh, the altar is there. He said, the altar, I saw it. They kept it in a room, like a museum. Amen. You of you that are going to, you see the altar is there. And every time they see, they tell them that there was once a move here. This was what they used. Come on. And other people might hear you, they'll just say, really? But one day, brother will come and say, they use this thing for crusade. Why are they not using it for crusade again? Let's bring it out and start crusade. That's how God kickstarts moves. That's how God starts a wave. That's why he wants to do things of memorial. That's the essence. Jesus said, what can I do? That even though they forget that I came to die, what is it that I can do? That when they do, they will remember my death. Then he called them and said, let's have last supper. And he told them, he said, when you hit this thing, you will remember my death. The communion was a memorial unto the Lord. And it was a regular practice in the church. One brother said to me, two people joined our church because of communion. One said, I want to live where I'm going to. He said, the only challenge is, you should give that thing that is white and blood. I said, is it, is it, you don't know what they call it. I said, is it communion? He said, yes. I said, you Yoruba, they call it Onja Leolua. He said, ah! My mom told me, if I would join any church, I should ensure that they are giving that thing there. That's one proof to know that you are in the right church. Eh? Someone who told him yesterday. One man who came here, he said, I'm, I'm already leaving my church. He said, but I don't know if you take that thing. I said, who's thing? I said, we'll take it. He said, I'm your member. Because these are signs that shows that the church didn't have connection with Jesus. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. And it is also a sign to check the love of a man of God. Because you can't minister communion when you are living in Sino. You can't answer. But may God help Williams because he's not quiet. Now your church, you want to start with the clones. That's why he's pushing the boy to drum. To learn drums like a pandodo. Praise God. Bulasco. Number three, they were, they, were, what's that? they were devoted to prayer. After the bread, the early church was devoted to Osa. Somebody says doing God's work is not praying. How can you be working for somebody you are not talking to? I mean, you are working for somebody you are, not, you are keeping money with the person. Where are you getting direction from? Where are you getting direction? You say you are working for God, you don't pray. Bula. Then who is telling you what you are doing? So one some days ago on Thursday, I said, God has said we should stay with him for 300 hours praying in the Holy Ghost. One sister sat to her broke case. They say, ah, kill it. 300 hours in tongue. She was amazed because she's not used to that kind of church. One said they are killing his style. He does not have style. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it not made that our style will kiss her? I mean, he's starless. He said, "Church does not want people to shine. Do we shine here? Jesus is the one shining here. Who shines here, sir? Only Jesus is shining." They say, "Bromeka, they allow him to shine." So he's not shining now. Now they are hearing. I think they showed him on CNN yesterday. What, what, you didn't watch him on CNN. Well, is he not shining like that? Ah, I wish we can wait and stay. The way we hit the world. All this guy, come on, come on my video, come on me, come on me, come on me, come on, put it on TikTok. No. Just happen. When you begin to happen, TikTok will be the one to say, please come on, come and cover your program for two days. We say, no, 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 we don't need, we don't need it, we don't need it, we don't need it. Please, we beg you. We are ready to partner with your minute. We don't need your money. We don't need you. No, no, no. You are a distraction. Yeah, what's that? What is not the difference between you and Jamaica? When you wake up in the morning, say, praise the Lord. You are acting your preaching because of camera. <laughs> praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Mastering assets, you are bite your tongue. You are no longer original. The Lord is the preacher. They were devoted. Someone said they were devoted to prayers. They prayed together in their house. Prayed individually, prayed corporately, 
there are three realms of prayers family prayers personal prayers and corporate prayers is there prayer in your family if there's no prayer in your family devil is the one living there forget any english you may put a bishop's picture in your house <laughs> or you put a devil's picture you are living you know, but you are not communicating with the living god but when is dead you are putting his picture in your house is he a dead man that will be praying for you, sir? You are like you told him, Badura. Oh, one sabs have you. If you are not praying, they are family that you don't pray. They just come and tell me, they stop me, give me a microphone. Go and take the microphone in your family first. Take my cover, sir. One number away, please. The church was away inspiring. Put for the three now for me. Go to the networks. They were surprised. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Why? Because of that foundation. Because what's that? The foundation that they follow, the sequence, there's a way you follow that you surely end up in the supernatural. Even if you don't desire the supernatural, naturally it will happen. The church was what's that? Our inspiring. Everyone probably refer to those outside the Christian community who were aware by the pro apostolic miracles. People outside of faith notice their faith, the stories of life changing, testimony of people coming to our church. It became so amazing that they say, Kai, God must be here. Do people notice our faith? Somebody came here and said, I love your church. I want my child to be coming. I love what God is doing in the midst of young people. I said to God alone be the glory. That is what we say. We are the word of God is being emphasized. Apostle, why are you not allowing me to preach? Because the Holy Ghost have not allowed you. When God wants you to start preaching, God will tell me. God was a I'm telling myself, Apostle, I have a word to share. If you have a word to share, the Holy Spirit will tell me and say, Bula, I have a word, sir. And I was thinking, Bula, God says, come and share what is in your spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord will help you. You see, you see a yellow sister. You want to use my water to woo a yellow sister. I'm coming in. Wow, glory be to God, bro. Because you shout, Hallelujah. Say, give me the string. Give me the string. Did Jesus use string? Did Jesus use string? You know, you have anger problems. See, they should give you string. Now they didn't give you string, you're saying, you know, I'm warning you there. If you play any wrong thing, I'll stone you. Why are we, please? They were devoted to scriptures. Have I told you that? The Lord is helping us. Give me 44, please, quickly, because I need to close in the next few minutes. Light has come. Hold on, can you see the early church? So you have to be. If you belong to any church, then you must be an early kind of Christians. And all that believe were together. Oneness. Someone say unity. One purpose. One pursuit. One life. One law for the things of the Lord. Can I tell you the truth? Everybody in the early church were blessed people. They were very blessed. Blessed in spiritual things. And if you maximize spiritual blessing very well, you'll be rich. It is wisdom that convert spiritual blessings to physical tangi tang tangibility bishop is rich because god gave him wisdom of what it takes to convert what's a spiritual blessing to what's a to physical blessing not that you are not blessed let me tell you something do you know how much is bad kidney kidney is around five million so there's five million inside you that is okay I'm not teaching you to go and sell your heart. If you don't learn how to use that blessing of a good kidney, I will, I will, I will speak to productively think and engage your strength towards something that can bring water, real time water, wealth, you will discover that it's going to affect a lot of things and a lot of people around your life, all to the glory of the name of the Lord. We live in a generation where people are spiritual, but they lack wisdom. Christians are not poor. Christians are poor. 
not because they are not blessed. Christians are poor because they lack wisdom. Christians, we have advantage to partner with the Holy Ghost to receive right inspiration. That when we convert, it will solve problem in our society and then it will translate to money. But we don't. Christians don't want to go through that route. They want to be in their house and Michael will just come and say, Pastor, I brought money for you. I brought sir. The most lazy set of people on earth is Christian. They hide on that tongue. They don't want to do anything. And they want to be, eh? And they want to be rich. That's what sir. You say Christian, they say, God will just give me a rich man. God doesn't say, I will just marry a rich man. They will take me to Paris. Where, sir? We're from Paris, we'll go to Wege. Eh? We'll go to Singapore. From Singapore. Where, where are you going to America again? Eh? England. As you are asking for that offer, Satan too is also preparing what's up. The real one for you. Why Jebab and Laya? You ah, Jesus. Sisters, don't forget that you have destiny to fulfill. The realization and naturalization of your destiny does not depend on any man. One man said, It is he told his wife, he says, Because you married me that you were rich. The wife said, No. He said, Why then? He said, Because I marry you, that's where that's why you are rich. The girl said, If I had not married you, you might not be this person in life. But there are some of you that tell that he said, I know now. That's why you're my husband. You've concluded that your future is what's uh, useless. You don't carry anything on your life. Yeah, it's when you marry only when you marry Bula that like you'll be great in life. Who told you? I mean, Bula was great because Bula was a. It's God blessing you. We are, we are rounding off very soon. Where are we placed as we close for this first service? The church was devoted to us, sir. Scriptures. They were united. And which other one quickly because of time? The church was generous. What did I say, sir? The early church was a giving church. The early church, if you are not blessed, how will you be given? In Acts chapter 2, verses 45, hear what the Bible says. Put one more. And they sold their possession. How did they get possession if they don't buy possession? Apostle, they inherit it. Their father to inherit it. They were giving towards the things of God. And they sold their possession and goods and parted them all to all men as everyone has need. Bro, Toby sold his laptop to pay somebody's school fees. Then, if Williams here, yeah, Williams say, Oh, then you walk on Lori. That's the practice of the early church. There are some nature of kindness you do today that even your pastor will say you are not smart. You are not what, sir? Because the pastor himself is not in the early church. And there are some of you that people will be helping you. You will say Molorie. Because you are not safe. Somebody is showing you a God kind of heart. And you are responding with a Satan kind of usher. So there are things. When I was in 200 level, the school portal was to be shut down. And I was and I had eight brothers <laughs> that we used to pray together. I was not around and <coughs> they made sure it's in their midst that our brother Peter has not paid his school fees. So. so when I got to the lecture room, one of them called me. He said, Bro, I want to see you. So I came. He said to me, He said, I heard you've not paid your school fees. I said, Oh, that's true. He said, I have enough money. Should I pay for both of us? You will reform me later so that portal will not close. I said, Don't worry. I will get my money today or tomorrow. Today, what's that? Uh -huh. That is a brother. That's a what's that? He heard that I had the need and he can affect my destiny. And he said, I will pay for you. Pay me later. Wicked you, you heard. And you have power to solve that problem. He said, let's be faster and we pray. Somebody is not mentally stable to Jesus. If you can't solve their problem, why did God ask them to tell you? Not today. Why any man is coming to tell you anything because you can solve the problem. Stop directing people again. If God has not given you what to solve that problem, you will not tell them to come. 
I was amazed because I saw real love again. A brother that was concerned about a brother. It's God speaking to you, sir. Nobody pay your school fees till they throw you out of school and you say you are going to fellowship. That's not fellowship. That is even ship. Even what, sir? I mean, you couldn't pay school fees. You couldn't pay one heck money. And you say you are in the midst of believers and nobody was concerned enough to come and meet you and say, bro, what is happening to you? Why are you not moving? Why are you not going to school? Why are you not going to work? What is happening to your life? It's God speaking to someone. You now are like Berioshi. A brother come and meet you and say, sister, what's happening? He says, like this, but this, 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 when they love you. You know what I mean? They will never say, those are the nonsense people we have in the church. Say, shame me care too much. Maybe it's God's way for my life. They will not be seen, they will not be putting on their status because they don't have sense. You will not be hearing, go straight to the point. Why boot around the bush when the person can hear you? Is that not all your sense? Your power is status. They talk to you, look for quotes. I don't know Bible verse. What a generation. They hurt you. You will be looking at no matter what hurts me, I know I will get to my destination. When do you see all those nonsense? They have plenty. So when I see those things flowing like that, I know they are going to battle. One of them, one of my members wrote something. I say, ah, who offended you? He said, yes, sir, it's one person. But once you are saying those things, he said, that's the only way I can let it out. Let what out. When there's no scripture in your spirit, everything will be entering you. Why do you want to pull hot in me now when everywhere is full of scripture? I thought you understand what I'm saying. May God give you wisdom. I said, may God give you wisdom. Lift up your right hand there and say, Lord, make me a holy Christian. Let's quickly move. There are times where people sold their properties and gave it to the apostle to distribute as need. We're fair. We're fair. They continue like that, sir. They didn't stop. This debug the might of not having enough money to help. Do you have stuff and you are willing to get rid of what you have that someone else has? Somebody is praying to get medical bills. Help people. That was it. The only church is a church where they help one another. They carried one another's body. They were good Christians. The only church. Number one, tell me please. Sir? The early church was evangelical. They were crazy about soul winning. Peter. Look at the next chapter. Look at what Peter said. Peter went to the table met a man who could not walk begging for money in Acts chapter 3 and as a result of that many heard about Jesus is that the next verse eh? Eh? many heard about Jesus give me 46 please 246 and they devoted themselves meeting together in the temple and breaking bread and house to house and they ate their food with joy and was a blessing read the scripture let me hear. read the scripture and they continually daily fellowship was what sir fellowship was what sir prayer meeting was what sir bible study was what sir how many bibles have you because they will see they go to church you don't even know anything say. they are doing daily bible study. they say go to bible school you didn't go you get to bible school they are giving us condition say i cannot come to the i cannot what sir and breaking bread from house to house and they eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart the same purpose love was the leading force the early church was not separate from the community they were around people they were always around people ministering praying serving in effort to take advantage to teach them the word of god I rush quickly. The early church, but this is where I love most. No, 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 no. Give me for the six. The early church was a joyous church. That some worker will sing chase away. I mean it. You can't be frowning here. Just go. Go and continue your mortuary content. So what's that? The mortuary believer. What I call it? Have, have you ever seen a cop that is happy before? Just come and just deny him. I mean, that's who I am. That is who you are. 
No, that's not who God made you. That's who devil made you. God does not make us to be sorrowful. The early church was a joyous church. <laughs> I imagine what will happen when Bula is gone. Because that is a joy room. That is a joy engine room. Bula, show them joy, please. You see that man? He doesn't know what it's called joy. You see the way he holds his jaw? Those are the people telling that battery is real. Wait, wait, that's it. They love thought like battlefield assembly. How can you be going to battlefield assembly? Why Jagun Kuni? I saw one program to one thing. They say Jagun Jagun. I said, God forbid, I will not join you. Me. Jagun Jagun. Jason said, Jagun for me. Odette is Jagun. Ogun Omotun Jackiri. Jagun Jagun. And they were happy to say it. No. Jesus has fought for me. Hallelujah. No, this one. He has won me. Sing it, sing it, let them hear, let them hear. Sing it loud. He has done it all for me. Good death, Odu. You are the reason Thank you, sir. God bless you. Oh, then Lord Jagu Jagu. Eh? I have a man that had to run for every time I say he has some case one to one set you. <laughs> the case that Jesus set you on the cross. That Jesus could not set you. So you don't go to us, sir. Let's be careful with what though. Let's go, sir. The church was a joyous church. Lord, look at the church today. Do you say anything, John? Joshua, can you let me see your job? Laughing is not joy. Let's try, bro. Williams. Hallelujah. Ah, ah, only ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. You are testing my microphone. Can I see rejoice in the house? They don't know what this is Christ Embassy Church. Christ Embassy Church. Oh, you don't see what part of the Christ Church when they came new. That's a typical New Testament church. They are glory to God. Somebody will stand over there. Ah! Is that also? That's the church I was saying. No, this one who just came does not want to shake because they will say if you shake. What is it I'm telling you today? And it's about shaking me. There are some of them who say, if you see, if you see. Okay. Ah, what them buy here? I mean, can we rejoice in the Holy Ghost for some time? On your chair. On your chair. Amen. 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 Now, this is how the church in the early, in the early church are. Ah. It's not that now you see you keep quiet now. Then they don't keep quiet. The joy is always. They don't close from church and say, hmm, "Don't mind offending me. I cannot take biscuit to children. Children didn't share it. Hmm. <laughs> you are not safe." Bula said, hmm. "You said not let me drum today. No, 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 no. Can you rejoice in the Holy Ghost? Let the devil cry." You are the reason. You are the reason. Can you jump on your feet? You are the celebrate. Just rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in joy, rejoice in Now, listen, can I talk to you? Why is it that the church people are so worried and fearful about everything? Can you relax your nerve? Do you know who you believe in? It's the Alpha and the Omega. 
He is the Almighty God. We can lose sight of torment, pains, persecution. The church is experiencing an experience. Wait, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. I want to share the grace. There are people who get upset when they have flat tire. I mean, they are not happy because of flat tire. Not having in mind that majority of people in the world does not have a car. If God can give you a car and you are angry because of a flat tire, and there are majority of people in the world who does not have a car and yet they are happy. I mean, will I strike from the gadget to why do you check that? You're not bad, and he was striking with joy. He didn't come home and say, God, why me? And you, you are driving your car with full AC, and the tire just less. And then you came there and said, Oh shit, man. Oh shit, man. Only what's wrong with you? Oh shit, man. You are not come to hug you. You slap the baby's head. And the head bounces and hits the wall. Because of flat tire. Is God speaking to somebody, sir? Hey. There are people who get upset when they wait for 20 minutes before food is ready and there are over 20 million people who does not have food to eat i mean you came home you want to say only the food be ready in 20 minutes and I say, what kind of rubbish are you telling me there are people who if they hear 40 minute time they'll be saying shenema dupe shenema diyawo The food will be ready in three hours time that news alone will bring joy some people are angry i'm telling you why you are not happy this morning so people are angry that their parents talk to them this morning they'll come to church there are people who never saw their parents when they gave birth to them both of them die at death and yet they are happy you look, what is your problem i don't answer what's your problem no 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 move around and ask what no, let's find out their problem why do you cry when you don't know the words of God? How do you know when you don't know the words of the Spirit? How do you fly when you don't know the words? Can we shout and shout and shout? shout? One minute, I will share the grace. When Jesus is our focus, our life will be joyful. Once you remove your lies out of Jesus, you move your heart into problem. The only source of joy is Jesus. Once your eyes leave Jesus, sorrow comes. Sir, how do you know a man who have lost focus with Jesus is their life? When you look unto Jesus, you keep expressing joy. The first church understand that life with Jesus is better than life without Jesus. We have nothing to worry about if Jesus is leading our life. We have nothing to worry about if Jesus is leading the church. We have nothing to worry about if Jesus is our king. We have nothing to worry about if Jesus is our redeemer. Bula, why are you looking at this morning? Let us not make such a big deal about the problem we face and start to make bigger deal about the Jesus we follow. Lift up the one. Bula, do you know a man? Any man of joy? Once your eyes with Jesus, what will be happening, sir? Joy. Joy. Unspeakable. But just take your eyes off Jesus. The joy will die. How do you fly when you don't know? I want to shout. Don't shout it. I want to shout the good. How do you run when you don't know the way <laughs> Why you don't know the world? 
Power of God. I want to hear you shout. Bring that problem. Bring that problem this morning to obedience of Christ. Bring the school fees to the obedience of Christ. The sickness in your body. Humble yourself tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his heart is the key to eternal life. A little, a little. Bringing in a pretty in obedience to is the Holy Ghost. Ay, ay, ay. Can you jump and worship it? Is the Holy Ghost. Ay, 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 ay. Is the Holy Ghost. Can you carry that stone and jump? There's weight in your spirit. Carry the stone. Come here. This is what happened to you. Oh yeah, carry it. Jump now. Jump anyway. You come. Jump, let me see. Jump. Give him the stone. Let him jump with it. That's why you can't jump. You came with lot of problem. Your life can't go up. The devil has caged you with problem. Drop the problem. Uh -uh. Jump without the problem. Drop the problem. Drop it. Drop it. Oh yeah, jump. Is that holy? Oh. Can you rejoice, you just? When my eyes is like this on the cross, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? But the moment I do like this, I begin to see things that will give me sorrow and begin to give us a. Goodness, my mind is not feeling fine. No. His eyes will leave Jesus and they'll be looking at my mom. They begin to feel so. But when I say, Willis, my mom is not feeling fine. No. He say, My mom is not feeling fine. Jesus, my mom is not feeling fine. Then they will call you again and say, My mom is now okay. But whatever, take your eyes away from Jesus has finished. Surely, God, good. Are you blessed today? I decree this week your joy will not be still. Carry this joy into. October is a month of joy. Is a month of what? Don't you know? In this heart is the key. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It leads you here. Don't worry. Give me your hand. Let me speak to a week. Jesus, thank you for this experience this morning. I decree concerning the love of everyone. May the devil not steal your joy. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord spoke to me now. He said, Why people are not blessed? Is it because the devil is stealing their joy? He said, Pray that I should, they should not steal their joy. And let them watch this week. Please try Monday to Friday. Just be happy. If you don't have daily testimony, I'll drop my microphone. I will stop preaching. You've, had, you've mastered sorrow. But this week is a week of us. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life. And we shall be in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever, brought up. Shake the hand of your neighbor. Say, I don't like where you are looking this morning. You might start your shirt and there's no 